Hey, what is going on YouTube? My name is the Blu-ray Cartoon Collector and today guys I have more than 20 pickups for you. So here we go. So yeah guys, 20 pickups. Wow, a lot of stuff. Let's first start with the stuff I didn't watch yet. Um, there is a whole pile here. So uh, mostly it's coming from Amazon. Dot co dot uk the first one i was really interested to to check this out is south paul with uh, jake gillenhall uh, this is actually a boxing movie uh, similar to warrior and maybe the fighter with christian bill um, if you ever saw this movie let me know what you think about it because i'm really interested to check this one out this was really cheap i think three pounds or something <clears throat> the next one is a one that i uh, just want to add to the collection because i love musicals and that is singing in the rain I also have The Sound of Music, Mary Poppins, etc, etc. I'm also kind of uh, yeah, curious about La La Land. I didn't check it because, you know, I have a lot of, of movies that I still need to check. So La La Land is also in that pile, but it's not uh, on the top. So it's probably, I think I have to wait a few months before I check out uh, La La Land. But uh, Singing in the Rain is a, is a classic one. I, I'm probably going to check this one out pretty soon. I think I saw this two or three times already, but you know, it's awesome. Then a movie that I wanted to check out yesterday, but for some reason it is not playing in my Blu-ray player in my PC. So I think I need to check this one out on my TV and that is The Iron Giant. I posted on Instagram that I was watching this, but I, instead of this one, I checked out another movie. I will show you that in a, in a second. But yeah, The Iron Giant is a, is a classic movie, of course, with uh, the voice acting of Jennifer Aniston and, uh, what is his name again, uh, Vin Diesel. Yeah, this is one of the best animations ever made, I think. And um, yeah, on IMDb it's also really high rated. So yeah, The Iron Giant, I think you all know that movie. Then I pick up from Zavi, uh, The Moaning of Life. This is actually a series. Uh, it is a mini series, I would say. It's an adventure comedy with Carl Pilkington. Um, there's also a second part of this. This was only like four euro. So yeah, I'm 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 curious to check this one out. This is uh, like I said, a, a comedy about a guy who is you know traveling the world or something and want to check out what it, what is my life about, you know, stuff like that. If you ever saw this, let me know. It was really really cheap I just added this to to make it you know 50 bucks total actually <laughs> uh, let's see uh, this was also really really cheap awesome that this was really cheap and that is Firefly I'm a sucker for science fiction adventures and and stuff like that I'm really looking forward to check this series out because uh, it is a lot of people say it is the, one of the best science fiction series ever made and it was only seven or eight bucks, I think, for the complete set. So, you know, this is over uh, 10, 15 hours or something like that. And um, it is a, uh, let's see, I think three or four discs. Yeah, three discs. Yeah, awesome. Firefly. I never saw it, so we'll see. <clears throat> then another pickup on Amazon.co.uk. This is a Nordic import release of uh, Scarface. This is only five bucks. Um, this is the Real Heroes edition. This is not the steelbook. This is the normal one with the slipcover. Of course, I saw Scarface, I think, ten times already. But, you know, I, I never had it in the collection. Uh, one downside is that I cannot remove that sticker. Because then, you know, the whole slipcover will be damaged. But, but still. So, yeah, Scarface. I think everybody saw it. And a plus is that it's coming with subtitles. Not that I need them, but, you know. Another Real Heroes edition, uh, Hellboy 2. I have Hellboy 1 in Steelbook, but I actually want Hellboy 2 in Steelbook, but I'm so stupid I bought the wrong one, because the Steelbook version is also the Real Heroes edition. But uh, yeah, I, I bought the, uh, the normal case by accident. But still, you know, for four or five bucks, I'll take it. This sequel is actually pretty good, what I read and heard. It's not that bad. Then Drive by Ryan Gosling. I think I will check this out tonight or tomorrow. Um, a friend of mine was telling me this is really a good a good movie. It is a thriller, and I love thriller. So and it, Ryan Gosling is in it. So one and one is two. I picked it up. Then a movie that surprisingly came with a slipcover, American Hustle. 
uh, yeah, I told you before, guys, when I order movies, they like almost never come with slip covers. I live in the Netherlands, we don't have slip covers and stuff like that. It's really stupid. But sometimes you can find them. But when I order on Amazon.co.uk, you never know if you get them with a slip or without. So this one came with a slip, and this was only three pounds. So, and this movie is not that bad, from what I heard. And Jennifer Lawrence is in it, so yeah, baby. Then the RoboCop trilogy. What can I say? I saw this already, of course. Um, I think part three I didn't, but one and two I did, and the new one I also didn't see. I think. I don't know. In the last two weeks, I saw about 60 or 70 movies. I'm not kidding, like three a day. So, because I had a huge b backlog, you know, I need to check out all the movies that I didn't saw. Because I don't like to have like a thousand Blu-rays in the shelves and then only watch 100 or something. I don't like that. I, I want to see them all. So, but yeah, Robocop trilogy. It was under 10 bucks for three movies. Insta buy. Then the box set. From Arrow, Outlaw, Gangster, Vip, The Complete Collection. This one is really awesome. Six movies for like 25 pounds it was, so like 30 euros. That is for Arrow, pretty cheap. And besides that, this is limited to 3000 copies and it's going out of print pretty soon. So uh, maybe it is already out of print, I don't know. And besides the movies, you also have a thick booklet uh, that give you some uh, background information about the movies and there is an interview with one of the main characters from the movies. I really like the Japanese crime mafia uh, drama movies so yeah uh, this was a must-have for me and I also want to have the Black Society trilogy and the Nikatsu Diamond Guys part 1 and 2 so maybe I will pick them up next month but yeah Outlaw Gangster Vip then uh, some stuff that's coming from Zavi. First, the two I didn't saw yet. The Road Steelbook. Uh, I have to say, every time I order from Zavi, everything comes in a really good condition. I know I'm maybe kind of unique because I heard a lot of people uh, complaining about Zavi, but in my uh, case, they always send it uh, with nice bubble wrap and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is The Road. This movie seems to be really nice. Viggo Mortensen is in it. Uh, is a really good actor so I need to check this one out this seems to be um, a really good movie I, I I cannot wait to check this one out and it was only seven or eight bucks for a still book that's so cheap then a movie with Jane Fonda Barbarella Queen of the Galaxy um, this is a science fiction cheese action movie adventure what I really like about this steel book this was also like five six bucks I think is that there's a extra protector sleeve case around the steel book as you can see and that is really really nice that is a plus for me um, the movie is only 90 minutes or something but I like science fiction and Jane Fonda look at her she was awesome back in the days but yeah I'm, I cannot wait to, to check this one out. This is a, this is a movie you check out with with you know with a bag of uh, chips or something and you know you have a laugh. It's a classic one. Then uh, another two steel books, but these two I already checked out. The first one is um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, this is also from Zavi. This was also like eight or nine bucks, really cheap. This comes also with the protector thing, as you can see. And this steel book is really, really nice. It's embossed as well. And um, I saw this movie yesterday. This is a classic one. I think I never saw it before um, because this movie is not so big in the Netherlands as it is in the United States. For example, Home Alone is a big movie here. You know, they broadcast it every year, but Ferris Bullets Day Off is, is not big. Um, fun fact is, it's not even released on Blu ray here. So. This movie is not a big thing. Even American Pie is bigger here. But this movie is decent. I would say it's not so funny. It's, you know, like I said, with comedies, give me super bad, The Hangover 1 and 2, that kind of movies every day. But this one is not so, so. It, it, it's decent and it's a fun watch. And uh, when you see Ferris Bueller's Day Off, you will recognize yourself maybe, you know, back in the days on school. Uh, Okay, I, I got the point, but it was a decent movie. It's a classic one, though. Then I wanna, uh, one I saw yesterday as well, and this one is really good, Boys in the Hood. 
with ice cube and uh, also embossed and stuff really nice also eight or nine bucks and this this movie is sick though it 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 remembers or it, yeah i when i checked the movie i was immediately thinking about straight out of compton i don't know why but straight out of compton was one of the best movies i saw in the last few years but this one has some uh, similarities to that movie i don't know why maybe it's because you know they're gangsters and because they're black and shooting another people i don't know but it's like i don't know i had the same vibe when i saw this movie but this one is really nice though you know it's about um, three people who are or three guys who are growing up in in the in a in a poor village and blah blah blah, blah. i will not spoil it you know if you want to see it check it out or check out the reviews on IMDb or something. Um, then Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This is a classic one with Paul Newman and Robert Redford. Um, decent movie. I would say it's rated a little bit too high on IMDb. I would give it like a 6 out of 10. The last part of the movie is the best part of the movie, I think. Uh, when they are shooting uh, the police and, and other villains and guys and criminals. But yeah, this movie is, uh, you know, it's cheese, it's nice, it's western, you know. It, it's a good movie to, to check out, but it's not like an 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. Not at all, in my opinion. But still good. But Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Then, an Indicator Powerhouse release. If you saw my review about 10 Rillington Place, you know um, uh, about this company, probably. This is Indicator Powerhouse. Uh, they are from the UK. And this is Guess Who Is Coming to Dinner with Spencer Tracy, Sydney uh, Poitier or something, and Catherine Hepburn, limited to 3,000 copies. Uh, this movie is about a girl who is getting a relationship with uh, uh, this guy here, and um, their parents are not really agreeing on the relationship because, you know, he's black. So it's, it's kind of a racist movie. Um, yeah, but before I go any further in that i have to show you this one that is to serve with love it's with the same actor sydney uh Portier, i think i don't know how to pronounce his name um, this movie is a bit like the movie dangerous minds you know from that song uh, gangster paradise uh, when the teacher goes to school and need to <coughs> you know uh, teach the the kids on school and they're not listening and blah 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 and this is like almost the same but worse than dangerous mind i think but the fun fact about it this is also a movie about racism so you have two movies with the same actor and he is black and they were like yo let us make um a movies about racism because you're black you know that kind of feeling i had this is also limited to 3000 copies by the way so yeah now you maybe ask which one is the best um i think this one uh, this one is, I saw this one to serve with love, he's, he, you know, he's a teacher on a school, or he's, he's going to be a teacher on a school, uh, he had no experience to be a teacher at a school, and yeah, it was boring, you know, I was like, uh, is there something going to happen, there was not, not much happening, you know, it was like a drama, and it was going on and on and on, Dangerous Minds have, have a lot more action in it, and you know, good songs and stuff like that, so this one is, uh, I would say, a 5 out of 10 or something. It's a cult, it's a classic movie cult, but it's not that I say, wow, I will rewatch it. No. But this one was decent, though. It's like their parents are, they're like full racist. You, you, you see the anger in their faces and, you know, it's, you have to check this out. This is a good, a good movie from back in the days. Yeah. Then a movie from Masters of Cinema, which I really, really liked, and that is Double Indemnity. This is a film noir with Billy or a film by Billy Wilder, sorry. And um, one of my uh, favorite film noir actors is in it, and that is Fred McMurray. Uh, this movie tells a story about uh, a guy who's working for an insurance company, and um, he's meeting a, a, a girl or a, a woman, a woman that is, um, you know, she wants to uh, get money from her uh, husband. Uh, so they make a plan to kill him, actually. Uh, so uh, they will receive double indemnity, double insurance uh, when he is dead, actually. So this movie is um, eight or nine pounds. It's not uh, really cheap. 
or it, it's it's not really expensive sorry uh, thick booklet and this is rated really really high and I think it deserves it because this is one of the best film noirs I ever saw in my life this one is really really good so if you like black and white film noirs with uh, dramatic music and stuff like that grab this one grab it it's, it's really good I need to to drink something I think but we're almost done then another still book from um, Zavi the princess bride also eight or nine bucks this is <laughs> this is like a family adventure movie and classic and I will not say anything more the still book is really really nice it's I really like this one but yeah this is like a fairy tale story you need to, to check it I will not say anything about it because then I spoil every, everything so I will not do that then sisters this movie was meh. I don't know. I sold the digital code on eBay. Amy Poehler and uh, Tina Fey. It's about you know two sisters and they're having a party in their uh, parents' house because uh, their parents are actually willing to move uh, or sell the house. And uh, you know there's one less party. The movie was. It had some fun jokes, but it was. But like I said, you know I have a really high standard for comedies. So, but this one was not not that bad though. It was, I think it was way funnier than, uh, for example, uh, what was the other one I was talking about? Um, what did I say? Uh, it was way funnier than 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 uh, Ferris uh, Bueller's Day Off, for example. But it's it's another type of comedy. But this one was not that bad. It is a movie from 2015, I think. Let me check. Mm, it, the runtime is two hours, which is, in my opinion, a little bit too long. Yeah, 2015. One one hour and 30 minutes would be uh, better, I think. It's about five pounds on Amazon. But I received it for free because I got a refund on the last movie I show you. And at the Stan Rillington place, this one is still sealed. I sold my own copy. Um, the case was broken on the inside. Amazon refunded my money. And from that, I ordered uh, two other movies like Sisters. So, um, Ten Rillington Plays is a movie, in my opinion, it's the best release from Indicator Powerhouse so far. Um, this movie, yeah, it creeped the hell out of me. It was not that it is, it's a horror movie or something, but you have to understand this is based on a true story. Uh, this guy is a serial killer from England. His uh, name uh, is uh, Mr. Christie, uh, played by Richard Attenborough. Ten Rillington Place is uh, the name of the movie and that is also uh, the place where everything is happening. So um, the true story of John Reginald Christie who turned his backyard into a burial ground. I don't know man, but this guy was fucking sick if I can say that like that. It's limited to 5000 by the way. Uh, I will keep this here because I already saw it. Um, yeah, and I, I sold my open copy. So yeah, but th this movie was good. This is really good. When I when I saw the movie, I, I I felt that I was in that place. You know, it the film hooked me up. I was into it, and I was like, "Oh, this guy is you know he's really serious." So yeah, you can pick this up for around fifteen pounds on Amazon.co.uk, and they also have two or three horror releases. If you like uh, this company, Indicator Powerhouse, you know, check them out. Uh, the booklet in it is really thick. A really good material so yeah so that was it guys uh, I can tell you that there is a lot more to come because I ordered around 20 to 30 titles more so I will probably make a new pickups movie uh, or clip pretty soon and uh, if you want you can uh, follow me on Instagram you can like this video and I will see you guys on the next one bye bye